So, um, welcome to this session workshop about um, Debian IRC support and uh, localized IRC support. My name is Michael Bank. I'm one of the hash Debian channel operators. So, first off, I'd like to ask, like, who in here? Put your hands up. Do is, is doing IRC support? So, a couple of people. Tim, a bit. Okay. So. Um, I hope this is mostly uh, like a discussion. I'd like to s present first shortly um, generally what we are doing in Hash Debian and then um, present some ideas on, on how we can maybe converge to something for some other channels or, well, whatever comes out of this. So generally, um, we have to say that most of the Debian development channels are now on IRC Debian org. But on the other hand, the, uh, the support is amazingly still um, distributed on both Freenode and OFTC. For example, the main uh, hash Debian channel has uh, like twice the amount of people on Freenode than it has on OFTC. So not everybody has migrated and also a lot of the non-English channels that we're talking about are still on, on Freenode or on both. Um, back in the days, like a couple of years ago, th sometimes there used to be objections to hash Debian and, and how people were treated or how people treated themselves, behaved themselves. Um, I think it's much improved these days to the point of where um, we like get several times a day people from hash Ubuntu who try to sneak up on support because they, they don't get as, mu as good support in, in Ubuntu, um, well, we can't help them that much. But um, the thing is that we, as the people from the Hash Debian channel, we don't really know what happens to um, people that we have to send off to other support channels because they don't speak English. So uh, I'd like to present first a bit about my personal story. Um, I've been on Hash Debian for some time uh, since I started being involved in Debian, mostly just for a couple of hours or days asking a question or trying to help a bit, but then got overpowered by the traffic, uh, several hundred people, that makes a lot of traffic. But I mean, I was always a bit worried or say uh, personally interested that um, the IRC support that Debian does should be high quality and then people should actually get help. So at some point uh, when there was another discussion on the Debian devil mailing list, I think, about somebody getting kicked out of hash Debian, in the end it turned out that it was their fault, but I decided, okay, if I wanna make a difference, I should actually um, get on the channel and then help. Um, just because I'm a Debian developer doesn't mean I can tell the regulars there um, immediately uh, how they should behave. So I decided to just go there and uh, to support myself. And uh, after a couple of, well, days or maybe weeks, uh, I started getting like respect from the regulars and uh, they noticed me and, and I was becoming a regular myself. And uh, after a couple of more months maybe, uh, Don asked me whether I wanna become a channel operator. So, uh, and that's been like, I don't know, three or maybe three years ago, I don't remember. And I tried to be, yeah. <laughs> I try to be involved, um, sometimes I'm more involved, sometimes less doing support and helping with moderating the channel. So basically, if you're interested in doing it and if you're a Debian developer or if you're not a Debian developer, um, you're welcome to help doing user support on hash Debian. It's an important issue for Debian. Um, a lot of people are requesting support. It, it's actually a pretty uh, high quality thing at least for, for regular questions. Of course, we can't help if somebody has a very specific question, but maybe even then we can help. Yeah, so and now, general, what sort of like guidelines have involved? I mean, that's more like my personal take on it, right? So, I mean, some other operators or regulars might have other opinions, but generally um, we decided, or it's it's been decided, like certainly you can interrupt me if, it, if I'm wrong or so, or if you think otherwise. Um, that um, hash Debian is a support channel. It's not a social channel. So that means if, um, I mean, certainly saying hi and so is, is okay and saying, hey, how are you doing? 
but uh, if people start discussing what they did last last night for more than a couple of minutes, then we tell them like, please go elsewhere, even if they're regulars. Um, it's exclusively English language, so we don't tolerate people um, discussing things in, in Spanish. Uh, at least, um, well, if, if somebody has to be told like, how to get to some other channel with Spanish language people, that might be okay, but if they start ask, answering questions about Spanish stuff, then we also say, please go elsewhere. Um, yeah, as I said, being off topic is only tolerated for so much. Certainly we don't kick immediately people who are off topic, but um, if this goes on for a couple of minutes or lines, we ask him to please uh, go elsewhere. Um, there's the, I think there used to be the hash hash Debian channel at some point on Freenode, and there's the hash Debian dash OT channel. So uh, it has to be said that a couple of regulars who were annoyed by um, being off topic, wasn't supported, started to hang out there and not in hash Debian anymore. But I think that in the end it's, it's better for the channel. You have to make a clear cut. Um, if you tolerate like off topicness only from regulars, then it's really unfair and uh, it doesn't really help. Um, cussing is allowed compared to other channels. Like uh, if you say, like for example, if you go in the hash Ubuntu channel and you say, shit, why doesn't this work? You're immediately told to please drop that. So if somebody says like shit, it's not a problem on the channel uh, unless they do it repeatedly for a hundred times. But if they say fuck you to somebody, then we immediately say, hey, this is not okay. So please not cussing at people or fuck KDE4 or something. Um, dissing other open source projects just because we don't like them, it's not really professional or it's not really uh, wanted, so we try to keep that down to a reasonable level, I think. Um, we don't kick out people who are apparently stupid, like can't configure Apache 2 or something. Um, we try to help them and we also say, if, if regulars get annoyed at them and say like, you're so stupid, uh, read the documentation, we say like, please, um, back off, so uh, we try to help the users even if they're not the brightest or having trouble understanding. Um, and we don't require real names. So, and, and so if there's trouble, what, what are we doing? Basically, if there's an obvious spammer, they get removed pretty quickly. So if people just spamming the channel, we have an extra bot who uh, kicks off people who paste more than three lines. And that usually also in involves spammers. So they get told, please use a paste bin. Uh, that's for regular people. I mean, we don't want people um, spamming the channel with like their whole hex org lock or something. So it's, it's automatically kicked, but not kick banned, of course. So they can come back, but spammers are immediately also kicked. And also if somebody is uh, obviously a spammer, like he's a uh, American pure racist people also, they get immediately kicked, of course, if we recognize it. Um, we generally have a, uh, this ops command thing, which is a hash, uh, the bang uh, factoid thing. So we have this dpackage bot on, on hash Debian, which is pretty um, useful. It has a lot of um, knowledge about like, like random stuff, like how to how to install NVIDIA binary drivers on Debian or which kernel version or whatever. I mean, you name it, it's probably there. There's also a lot of weird stuff in there, but okay, we try to clean it up if it's really offensive. Um, everybody can add factoids there. And for example, the ops factoid um, like highlights every channel operator who is in that list and with a reason so they can draw attention to the channel and, and act if there's a problem. Um, yeah, in general, I think if people are really disruptive, um, we hope, well, let's say like low level spammers or trolls, we hope that the regulars can um, reason with them. So for example, they don't feed the troll, they just say, well, if you have a Debian question, please ask it. If not, either stay quiet or leave. And um, I think we are rather successful. For example, the um, Patty Frank troll, is rather low level on hash Debian compared to hash Debian DE or uh, hash Debian devil. So that works for some for some amount. So if people are still uh, disruptive, as I said, we have the ops command. We then, at, at least I do, still uh, request those people to please behave properly. Um, 
and uh, only if they continue to be disruptive, they get a 10 minute timeout, which also, in my opinion, works really well. It's that means they're not kicked, they're just muted, so for 10 minutes they can't talk to the channel. And a lot of trolls are really into getting kick banned and then trying to prevent bans and stuff. So if you just mute them, that sort of like takes off their steam and they might just leave. They might also insult you in private, but okay, that's part of the job. Um, if that doesn't work after 10 minutes, they get kick banned. But even then, they can, um, there's two, two ways to get around that. Basically, what we're doing is um, Dawn irregularly cleans up the ban list every couple of weeks. Or if it's like a regular who gets kick banned for whatever reason, or somebody who is thinking that they should genuinely be on the channel, then they can um, talk to us in, in, in an operated channel. And usually we ask them, like, why were you banned? Do you think that it was reasonable? Why, what's the problem? And if they are reasonably um, considerate about their actions, then we just remove the ban. So that's about how hash Debian works. Um, so the question is now what happens to people who cannot write English? Like I can, I don't know, probably you can't really read that now, sorry. It's just, yeah, sorry. So basically it's a guy coming up called Kulmena and he says, hola, alguien en español? And then, well, somebody invokes the ES factoid called SNE, and then they package says, uh, well, I'm not a Spanish speaker, so he's Bano Hablantes, por favor, join Debian ES, ali obtendran más ayuda. Spanish, and then in English again, Spanish speakers, please join hash Debian dash ES, there you will get much more help. So basically, we have a factoid for a uh, couple of, or most languages in, in the native language and in English, telling them to go there instead of um, being on hash Debian talking non-English. Um, so they get invoked a couple of times maybe if the people don't react. I mean, it's always a bit unclear at that point whether they are just not understanding English at all or whether they are trying to troll. I mean, we have a considerable amount of people just seeming to randomly say something and not really interested in, in going elsewhere, but okay, we try to be reasonable and then um, we remind them that the channel is English only. We try to tell them, like, join hash Debian ES. And if that doesn't work, we, we, we have to mute them for a while because as I said, we don't tolerate uh, non-English. And uh, at some point, well, we, we kick ban them or whatever, uh, hope that they go to the other place. Is there any questions so far? Sometimes, too, um, we'll drop in a ban forwarding uh, for somebody who it doesn't seem to be able to ha to go to the proper channel. A ban forward. Yeah, so. Okay, yeah, right. So when they try to rejoin again, they'll get forwarded to uh, the what the channel that we assume is the appropriate channel for them to be in. It just depends on who's doing it and what they're, what they're doing. Right, yeah, that's pretty useful, except I don't know how to do it. You, you should teach me about it next time. Yeah. It's kind of the most common <laughs> it may be, but we get Portuguese, German, Italian, French, uh, uh, Russian. Yeah, yeah, certainly, yes, yes. I mean, I think Portuguese, like Brazilian Portuguese and Spanish are probably the most, because let's say most English, uh, most German speakers, for example, seem to be able to understand it in English. There seem to be more problems or like more... Um, occurrences of, of Spanish or Portuguese people who apparently don't understand English at all. And um, so, yeah, probably it's a bit hard to say. I mean, but certainly, well, actually, I think, yeah, right. So, damn, well, I had to fit on, well, I can, I can summarize it. So I, I, I did some research on, on all the um, different channels. I, so I checked the Debian dpackage database. So in the first column, you see the, the factor that we are uh, invoking. And the second one is appropriately the, the language. And the third one is the channel that we're telling them to go. And uh, the crosses there is whether the factor it says that they should go on ISC, uh, hash, uh, ISC OFTC .net or ISC freenode.net because as I said, um, support is in both networks. And then you have the, the people actually in those channels, in OFTC and Freenode, and then some remarks. So uh, the first 
um, line is English, hash Debian. And as you can see, there's right now there's 900 people in hash Debian on Freenode, where there, whereas there's only like 380 in, in OFTC. And okay, so the second one is German, which is the most abundant. And actually there the factoid says go either OFTC or Freenode. And it's about 140 each. That's the biggest non-English language channel I could find so far. I could have easily missed some. And the next ones are French, Spanish, and Italian with, with about roughly uh, like 60 to 100. Um, if, there's a, if there's a parenthesis, well, I, I'll put up the slides later on if you want so you can check it out. But if there's a parenthesis, that means, uh, it's especially on Freenode, it means that if you go to that channel, like hash Debian-fr, uh, you get auto-forwarded to another channel. I think in this case it's hash Debian-fr, and there's 110 people in there, so more than on OFTC, even though we tell, even though the fact that it talks about OFTC, for example. So, um, so there's a couple of things. I mean, I didn't, I just went there and, and gathered the statistics, so I haven't fixed up stuff yet, but there's certainly a, a couple of um, things where there's glaring omissions, like, um, well, Russian seems to be okay, but for example, there's some channels which are really much more on Freenode than on OFTC, so the factoid should probably say, well, you should go to Freenode, because, oh yeah, I, have to, I forgot, so the factoid database is for both the networks, it's the same database, so we can't just invoke one factoid on Freenode and the other one on OFTC, so um, that's why I'm saying it might be a problem. If somebody on OFTC asks about Italian support and they just get told to get to hash Debian IT, um, so there's only like 18 people on OFTC, whereas there's about four, like 60 on, on Freenode. So, and, and we don't specifically say to go to Freenode. And actually what also is, uh, what surprised me a bit is that apart from those major languages, maybe Russian as well, everything else is rather low level. So uh, even Danish, Polish, Portuguese even, I was surprised that there's so few um, in Debian, hash Debian VR, there's so few people. Maybe I'm, there's another one somewhere which, are, which we don't know about. But I th from the amount of people who are speaking Brazilian coming on our channel, I assume that the Brazilian RC um, community would be much bigger, but it's only 20 people on both um, networks. So that was a bit surprising. Of course, it's a bit, um, there's also Portuguese, but there's only two people. And there's a lot of channels which are like virtually empty. So that's also a bit of a problem. If you tell them that go to the Greek channel, um, there's some Greek speaking person and we tell, well, go to the Greek channel and it turns out there's only like five people there. It might take hours um, to actually get their issue addressed and usually users uh, give up after a couple of minutes because they're not, like regular users, they're not um, adjusted to hanging around in a channel for hours waiting for an answer. I mean, I know it having been on IRC for uh, quite a couple of years. Uh, if you go to some low-level channel, you have to hang around for a couple of hours. But of course, uh, users might not figure that out and may just leave after 10 minutes. So the probability of them getting any support in hash Debian GR, for example, is, is rather low, I guess. So yeah, and, and, and then uh, at the bottom, also a bit surprising is that, for example, for Norway and Belgium, there's no people at all. And maybe that's also a bit of a problem because actually the, the factoid is not a two-letter factoid. So if people asking about Norwegian, we wouldn't, there is no NO factoid, I think, as far as I can tell. It's like Debian NO or something, somebody set it up. And uh, the regulars wouldn't figure it out. I mean, they would just say, well, sorry, no NO factoid, bad luck, and then can't tell them anything. So maybe that's also why people don't get forwarded there. I don't know, but anyway, it's no people in there. So there's there's a couple of channels also which we forward to which there is no people like Debian Czech, uh, Bulgarian, virtually nothing in Indonesia. There's three people in India, one of them being Bubule. Uh, so uh, it's I w I'm, I'm I would actually I was really surprised that there's in some areas there's so few people. Okay and. Just to summarize that a bit, uh, now the question is, can we sort of like make this a bit more useful? Um, because as I said, we don't really know. 
if we send people to Bulgaria, do, to the Bulgarian channel, do they actually get help? Even if we send them to the French channel, do they actually get help? Or will they just get laughed about uh, because they have a stupid problem or so? Um, they used to be, for example, singling out the French a bit. Or I can also single out maybe the Germans a bit because that's the two channels I know. In the French uh, channel, and I don't remember which one it was, but there was a French youth support channel which had a bot which uh, automatically kicked people who said lol. Um, they, got, they got kicked banned for saying LOL. Um, and that's really something which I'm not so comfortable with if I'm sending people there who want Debian support. Um, so that's also something which we don't do in hash Debian. So if somebody speaks really childish or really late speak, well, we, we accept it to some degree. We might say, well, you know, it's not so great, but we accept it if they, they need help. So yeah, what could we do? I mean, maybe, I don't know whether a single coordinator or something is useful. Mm, maybe I would like to, at this point, get some feedback whether people of you think that it's, it's an issue at all or whether we should just keep on uh, doing this or uh, what, what do people think? Is there any opinions yet? Is there any opinions on IRC maybe? There were two people. Raise your hands again, please, because, okay. Okay, so, uh, do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, I have some ideas about uh, IRC non-English support. So, uh, the first one is, um, you have told about uh, some Spanish people asking for, uh, there is someone that uh, is uh, Spanish speaking, okay, that speaks Spanish, so they say, uh, oh, you, sh you should go to Debian-ES. So, um, I don't know if, if, it's, uh, if it can be done, but uh, there, there could be uh, an IRC bot uh, that tracks uh, EP, uh, IEP addresses from people, detect from which country they are, and, and, and they send a pri private message to them, so that uh, they say, you seem to be Spanish, uh, please go to Debian-S, uh, or whatever. Uh, this bot uh, should uh, have a way to, to communicate to it, so that you can re register yourself uh, as a as an English uh, user, so that uh, the next time you log in to Freenode or o OFT, uh, you are not asked once m more again. You are not asked again uh, to look into Debian uh, dash s. That's that's an that's the first idea. So um, the the second idea is about uh, it's it's not quite related to IRC support, but um, it, it is related somehow. So um, last year or two years ago, I met some Spanish KDE developers. So I asked them uh, how how do they how did they develop. And uh, what I learned is that uh, they used uh, English uh, KDE. So they, they were using uh, English KDE and um, because th they said that uh, it was easier to them to report bugs because everyone right. works with the English uh, development version of KDE. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, this fact implies that uh, they are not, uh, they are less likely to be found, these this devel this Spanish developers, they are less likely to be found on a specific Spanish uh, KDE uh, channel. That might not be true, but uh, uh, it, it, uh, I think it matters. Uh, well, can, so I, can I say something to that? Just, just a remark. So one thing also you have to always keep in mind is that, um, as I said, Hash Debian is supposed to be a, a genuinely support channel. 
whereas we have a reg uh, we have a separate development channel and we have a separate social channel for developers or users uh, for English language. But on the other hand, I guess for a lot of these, even I mean I know for German there is a development channel, but hash Debian DE is also sort of a social channel, and maybe d hash Debian ES is like a support uh, developer and a social channel one and all. So that's also yeah, something you have to keep in mind that not, not every language specific channel is just a support channel. There might also be developers on it or uh, y like people talking socially. And um, certainly it, it's a problem that, that, I mean, of course, if even if developers are not there, I mean, support, you don't really need to be a developer. You can just be an advanced user to do support or just a regular user. Just Just saying that, yeah. Okay, so go on, please. So uh, finally, my first um, I uh, idea or whatever. Uh, in my own experience as an Spanish uh, user, I, I, kn I know how to speak English uh, quite well, well, well. and uh, I sometimes try to uh, make the question in Spanish channel so that uh, it, it is alive. And um, the most of the times you don't get a quick answer. Uh, or uh, if it's a very complicated, uh, a very uh, complex problem, you don't get uh, an answer. Uh, so uh, then you try to answer the same question in English, in the English channel, English IBC channel, and, and you get a quite great answer. So uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying uh, anything, it's just uh, my experience uh, in this field. So uh, as, as, as you, uh, th there's some work to be done to, to improve this uh, non-English IBC support in this. So uh, that, that's it. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, uh, I am a regular from Hash Debian ES in Freenode, also on OpTC Network. And I can talk about the, the, the both channel. The one on Freenode has a lot of users. I think they never migrated to OBF of T. Mm. And it's mostly a social a social channel. And there is technical related question, but the channel is more social than, than technical. Uh, I see that because I'm, I'm, I'm keep hanging up in that channel for long. And there is a problem with the, the other channel on OFTC network. And there's there, there's no, no such, no, no, there's no much users. There's, right now there's 27 people joining on the channels and mostly of them as, as, as I always do, are inactive, just been sitting there. Yeah. Then when, when you guys from, from Hash TV and redirect user to Debian ES, they, they never get an answer because there's nobody able to help them. Right, and, and actually I think that's, that's one of the things that um, I'd like to address in so far as maybe it would be possible to have like one person from the Spanish community being a contact and telling us, well, it doesn't make sense to send people to Freenode. You should update that factoid or so, or uh, hey, we, we all moved somewhere else. And yeah. Also, maybe, yeah. Or, or just really go to Freenode. Or well, if and even if then, if they don't really get help on Freenode, well, we should tell them maybe to, to use a forum or a mailing list or something, because it right now it's really like we're it's like a black hole, right? So we send people like, okay, there's a Spanish channel, um, let's send people there. But as I said, it might be just a social channel, it might be a development channel, and the questions might not be answered. So we should think that's a good idea, thinking uh, also non ISC uh, stuff if they're not able to. Uh, to I guess it's always the best if they're able to speak some English to ask it in English because that's the main support channel. And if they understand the answer, that's probably best for them. But if they don't speak English, yeah. Yeah, and maybe too, I mean, the best thing would be for people who know exactly what the state is in each language to just take control of that factoid. I mean, I know all these factoids, uh, the actual bit in uh, Spanish or in French or in Tagalog or whatever, is actually written by somebody who knows what's going on uh, or knew at some point in time. Um, so it'd be best if somebody who is aware of what the support uh, options were in each different community could uh, 
fix it so that it's most appropriate for getting support for that community. Another idea that, that could be easy uh, is to add a, a in the factory that, that you use to point the people to the, to the right channel, uh, add an, an, a wiki site. Uh, uh, you are pointing to a wiki site and every community has to go there and point if there is a, the, the IRC support is kind of that, they, they should point to a forum or mailing list or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's also a good idea. Uh, and, and, also yeah. and also the wiki will have mailing list pointers for Spanish the community, for the community for that language. Right, yeah. <coughs> well, another, another idea is mm, make uh, a notice in the uh, mailman list. Uh, for example, in Spanish, as uh, a lot of people in the Debian Spanish list uh, often make a lot of questions and try to get the same question, the same question, the same question, and maybe in a ERC channel in Spanish, uh, the question is, is very so is solved very fast. And maybe another idea is in get uh, in the bottom of each message, uh, try get help in the ERC Debian Spanish channel. If if you actually get help in the ISH Spanish channel or for that ever area. I mean, something also we could think about is, I think this D package, I mean, also, the, of course, I understand there is, uh, like, at least for example, in hash in the E, there is a policy of no bots, um, which is agreed upon by the regulars. But I think having, like, a semi official bot, uh, which has this kind of um, knowledge, because, for example, this D package bot really has great knowledge. I mean, it's getting regularly maintained by the regulars. And they are experts in that. So if you ever ask, like, how do I enable PHP on on an Apache tool, and you get help by that. And uh, maybe we could also have language specific bots for that, so it's easier for the people actually doing support. Because if somebody asks like a frequently asked question in, in in Spanish, and then maybe some people who know don't answer because it's just so much, like they rather talk about other stuff. But if it's just like three letters in a, in a bot message and then the bot answers, answers actually, that might be lower the barrier to answering the questions. I don't know. Could be something we could think about or it must be something that the particular community thinks about because of course um, building that knowledge also takes quite a while. Uh, and also what I thought about is whether it makes sense to have the dpackage bot on non-English channels and sort of answer or like um, like only have the English factoids, but maybe th that also makes sense for some Spanish people, right? And then if they don't understand, somebody can translate it maybe. I don't know whether that makes sense or not. Well, hello? Okay. Uh, I'm not well, my n I'm uh, one of the chain channel operators in Debian S, uh, Debian dat, uh, dash S in OFTC. OFTC. And uh, well, I don't want to focu focus this uh, this talk on the just on the Spanish channel because I think this is more general talk. But uh, well, mm, having I have some some opinion on on the status of the channel, uh, I could I could share with with you all now or, or a little later. But uh, regarding the the package uh, the package uh, topic. Um, I don't know what's the policy on, on bots in the OF o OFTC. I, I, I suppose it's uh, supported since uh, the Dash Debian channel already has, has one, uh, the D package, and works quite well. Uh, I would like to have uh, one of those in Debian S uh, because I think it's quite useful. Uh, well, we could talk about the implementation uh, slowly and. Uh, uh well, the, the problem is actually the content, I guess. I mean, there's a lot of several years of knowledge in the yeah. English Spanish uh, speaking version. So I, I see that, like, uh, r reproducing everything in, Eng in German or Spanish, I mean, mm -hmm. even if that's a major, I mean, it probably doesn't make sense for Greek at all. Yeah, but for that, for that uh, I have a, s a simple solution, which is uh, I think uh, w uh, we can find some volunteers and start uh, translating all, all those uh, factoids. 
giving them rights to do so, and well, that as a start. One, one problem is if you look actually at the database, there's like thousands of factors, like people made up, I well mean, because everybody, it's not restricted, so everybody can actually add a factoid, and you can do it in private, so like mm -hmm. in a message to the bots, so yeah. we don't, there's no real um, auditing of this factoid, so if just to tell somebody like, translate it, there is so much noise, say, in, the, in a factoid, well that it's a bit difficult to just go that um, way. Well, well maybe actually, maybe it's possible to, sorry, just to, to sort by uh, frequency of getting it yeah. addressed. Probably. Because obviously there is a couple of factoids which are like invoked all the time, and, and if it's not something non-related to support, and, and then you can just translate those at the beginning or start from the top, then it's maybe easier. Well, it, it will take time, surely. Yeah. But uh, for as a start, uh, we need uh, one bot, okay? So, uh, well, I think uh, I don't want to, to focus the, the conversation on just uh, this, this topic. Uh, we, we can talk later. But, uh, well, um, another point uh, is that uh, um, I'm not sure what's, uh, well, I have a little more clear what's the, uh, the, um, the issue with the free node channels. I, I don't consider them official, and uh, my point of view is that uh, all those people who, who actually want uh, uh, support should move to OFTC. In my well, our, uh, well, it's of course, I think every community has to decide for themselves. So at least the hash Debian, we, the, the Chen Ops and the regulars, we decided to support both. So, we at, well, we, we understand that IRC Debian Org is the official I Debian network, but we still think that hash Debian on Freenode is also an official Debian channel. So if people are talking, are misbehaving or like disruptive, I still think it's, um, it's, Debian's like not maybe reputation, but it's sort of like reflects on Debian. So I think at least hash Debian is official. But of course, uh, every community has to make up their minds for that. And, and, and for example, I haven't been in hash Debian DE on Freenode for years, so I don't know whether you have you have anything to say. No. So um, so I don't know. I mean, there's certainly, as I said, there's the same amount of people in hash Debian DE on Freenode as on OFTC for the German speaking channel. So I'm German. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's unclear how the German community, I, I'm not so much involved in that. But if you, s uh, if you pay attention to the amount of people on each channel, you, you can see that uh, uh, there's a big step from uh, Debian, from Das Debian to the rest of the channel, local channel. Certainly. So uh, this, uh, this uh, implies that we have uh, surely lack of resources. So uh, I, don't, I don't feel that uh, we could support both, uh, both networks. We could see on, on each uh, language, but I think uh, focusing on, on OFTC uh, is uh, the best thing to do because uh, from my point of view, there's a lot of noise in the, uh, in the free node channel, especially, especially on, on the Debian Spanish uh, channel. And uh, well, uh, I don't mean uh, those people to go uh, the house and leave the, the channel, but I, uh, I think that we could uh, control better or help better in the OFTC channel uh, because it's, uh, well, there's uh, still noise, but it's uh, nothing compared to the other. And that's uh, one of the points that uh, I would like to, to start working on. Um, I, I started with the, with the channel not much uh, time ago, maybe uh, some months, but um, and we are not uh, still covering all the time zones because uh, from the Spanish uh, channel we have uh, a problem because we have Spain and also the, the most of uh, America. So it's uh, difficult focusing on, on, on both time, cha uh, time zones. If right, we there's an Argentinian channel, but that's it. And I think it's much slow smaller than the, um, than the Spanish one. I don't know if there's any other Latin. I didn't find any other Latin American specific channels at least in yeah. a database. Maybe there's one from Mexico, for example. Uh, yeah, just uh, just to point out that um, we saw it, uh, well, in my opinion, and I'm just talking on my opinion, that, for example, we saw that once we quit or once we shut down uh, hash Debian Devil on Freenode and everybody moved to OFTC, I thought that the noise was also going up. Uh, it was much better signal-to-noise ratio before. Uh, I don't want to concentrate on that. I mean, it's, it's a whole other issue. But um, it's you always have to keep in mind if you shut down one channel, then most of the 
it could be that just a lot of people come over to Oak to see, and then it's really hard to police, or not to police, but to moderate. So what you could maybe do is just keep the free node channel as a really social channel, oh. and tell every user, even those who ask in hashtag you know, free node, that support is only done in OFTC, and split it up a bit like that, and, and people who are interested in, in uh, social issues or social socializing, um, I guess they are able enough to, to join a free yeah. node for that, and then use both networks if they want to. Well, just shortly about the development uh, status. I think, as you as you have told before, that uh, those channels are uh, specifically uh, focused for uh, user support. And uh, maybe uh, we could uh, have some links with developers. And uh, if uh, we, we come, uh, came, uh, come across with uh, some uh, development uh, question, we could uh, uh, forward them to the right channel or maybe uh, act act as a bridge and uh, solve the, the, the issue, but uh, well, they should uh, stay uh, user support in my humble opinion, and uh, well, surely th there, there may be uh, difficult questions and uh, we, if we are not able to, to address them, well, it's that's life, so. Sure, <laughs> I mean, there's always questions in hashtag in that you can't answer, sure. I mean, it's the best effort thing. Um, if you really need an answer, you should pay for support somewhere, I guess. But yeah, I mean, always it's a bit difficult because, for example, hashtag in devil is, is both a development and a social channel at this point, I would say. And for example, I just talked to uh, Jordi yesterday, so the Catalan channel, it's there's only five people on it, but it's the ever development, social, and user support, if any users are actually there. So it's that's that's a bit, bit of a problem. Okay, so uh, I want to... Well, so just want to go through through some of these um, ideas that I had, and, and maybe we can discuss them then. So as I said, maybe a single coordinator for all this stuff is a bit overblown. I don't know if people think it's uh, something we could do. Um, I think I will. I feel sort of responsible a bit as a Hashtabian channel operator that um, user support in non-English channels are, is like functional or at least people are get redirected to the proper forum. That's something which I haven't actually thought about, but, but it makes a lot of sense that if there's no Greek IRC channel, then they should maybe ask the Greek user support list if there's any, or at least a Greek, maybe, maybe there's a web forum or something where they can ask for help in Greek. Um, what we could have, as I said, what would be really nice is to have a, maybe a Debian developer or a, like a regular and a well-known person of that language who feels responsible as a contact to the hash Debian operators. Not to blame or not like being responsible, but just as a contact if there's uh, trouble or so we can work it out. And because the other thing of course is if, if somebody says, well, I don't get help in, in hash Debian FR or something or in hash Debian DE, um, I can't just go there and say, hey, hey, um, I'm from hash Debian, so please report or something. Yeah, it, it would be much better if somebody we know, somebody who obviously speaks English, um, we could have as a contact for every at least major language. Um, maybe some of the channel operators, for example, I already speak German, um, but maybe for sake of neutrality, it makes sense to have somebody else from hash in DE being that contact person. We have to figure that out. So that, that would be one possibility that they, they are the contact, as I said, they're the contact person in case of problems, or they also maintain updated factoids. Um, I thought about having maybe a hash Debian internationalization support or localization, I mean, I always confuse the two, so whatever is more appropriate, um, channel for some coordination. I don't know whether it makes a lot of sense because there might be really low traffic, but maybe it's a good thing. I mean, people don't like to join another channel, but we could try maybe whether it works out. Um, yeah, as I said, maintain a wiki Debian org list. There was already the idea of having a wiki list for every language area. I mean, that makes also a lot of sense. Maybe there is already some, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it's sort of something that, I don't know whether Debian has really addressed as a project, like lo localized local support. I mean, I know that Ubuntu did it pretty early on, having local teams, but uh, Debian hasn't so much um, stepped up maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm just missing it. I haven't really checked before, I have to admit. And also um, something which we should do, like um, what I did now is like periodically check for defunct channels. So there's, I think this Indonesian channel, I remember a couple of months ago, there was one person who seemed to be really active or really enthusiastic about Indonesian support and, and they put the factoid in and, and made it aware, but it's empty, yeah, there's nobody there. Maybe now it's somebody else. Uh, these numbers, they're from like 36 hours ago and I haven't really updated them yet, so 
certainly there's some amount, but if there's nobody there 36 hours ago, that means that at least at some point it's, it's just empty. So it doesn't make sense to have a factoid for that channel, I guess. Yeah, and the other thing that I like to um, suggest, but which is a bit more of a controversial thing, is um, having like shared guidelines. Shared guidelines, um, sort of like what, what I said before, like um, if it's a support channel, it should be just support and no social stuff. Um, figuring out what is off topic, actually I haven't um, talked about that before. So what is off topic in hash Debian is anything which is a um, non-Debian distribution like um, even Knopix is mostly off topic, Ubuntu is off topic. So if people from hash Ubuntu come to us because they don't get help in hash Ubuntu, we just can't, I mean we figured out with the regulars that hash Debian only does Debian support. It's, I mean they're doing it on their free time and it's not our responsibility and, and it's just so, just so to say, we said okay, we don't do Ubuntu support and it also it makes a lot of sense because Ubuntu packages are frequently different, they are using different pack libraries and the kernel is totally different so we can't really support it because even, I mean, of course then always people say well it's the same thing, like Apache is the same but we just say okay we can't support that so that is off topic and yeah, also programming questions are off topic. Um, special weird hardware questions are off topic. And we just tell people to go to the appropriate channel. And I don't know whether it makes sense to have like uh, some shared guidelines or at least baseline um, that says, okay, Debian is not doing any Ubuntu support in all the channels or, so people have can have some expectations because also, I mean, if, we, if people go to hash Debian and they get helped and, uh, or they get, um, then I would say we, we support people who seem to be a bit slow or not, not so they, even if they didn't read the documentation yet or didn't Google it, we try to help them in hash Debian, but if we um, refer them to say hash Debian whatever and, and there they say, well, fucking Google it and get a kick ban or something, then it's, it's not very consistent. So I'm not sure, I mean, I, I, agree, I agree that it's a different, it's a uh, maybe a, heavy issue or something, or, mm, well, maybe we could talk to these um, areas or these localized channels and, and d agree on some basic guidelines like not kick banning people immediately or um, trying to be reasonable with these or having also like a policy of first muting them or something like that. Yeah, um, that's that's what I also want to talk. I don't know wh how whether there's any opinion about that. Uh, mostly Spanish people. No. Oh, yes, please. Well, I, I have uh, some sort of idea. Uh, it has nothing to do with, with what you have just uh, talked us about, but uh, you know when, when uh, we request for Debian, um, for Debian, uh, for people to help Debian, uh, we say you don't have to 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 know programming skills uh, to be a computer geek in order to help. You can uh, translate, uh, uh, I don't know, menu strings. You can uh, design uh, new images for Debian logo or whatever. Uh, what about uh, IRC uh, sub support translators? So that uh, if a question does not get answered in Spanish uh, uh, channel in uh, uh, 20 minutes, someone offers uh, the, the guy who asked the question uh, so that he translates the question and ask, uh, asks it at, uh, at main Debian channel. Oh, that's an interesting uh, idea, yeah. I, um, I, I haven't been... Uh, I don't know, I, I do not frequent so much uh, Debian uh, dash ES channel, uh, so I, I do not know if it, uh, this uh, happens right now or, I or if it does not happen. Yeah, right, it's, it's also a bit difficult for me because hash Debian DE is rather big and usually people get, I mean, there's a lot of knowledgeable people in there, so they get help. So um, that that's certainly something that, um, we could think about. Of course, then again, it needs somebody who in a reasonable amount of time reacts to that question and, and trans uh, forwards it. 
but and then certainly I also think that it's one of the things that we could um, well as I guess yes yesterday or so there were a lot of couple of talks about how you can help Debian and even if you don't program or do packaging you can still help Debian a lot by doing uh, user support you know okay uh, I believe uh, <coughs> I think that uh, there, there, there might be some sp Spanish talking people in case or on the Spanish channel and maybe if s from the other localization, the from the other support channel in our language, there's the, that might see this this on video later. Uh, so they should actually join to the channels, and and just sit there, because uh, I I try to promote the channel every 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 time I, I have the opportunity. But sorry, the hash Debian yes channel, which one? Debi hash Debian yes, and okay. I believe that 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 will work for another people from another language because. I uh, once then once uh, sit for a while trying to learn Portuguese in Debian DR, but they were not talking, so I, I didn't learn <laughs> anything. And right. the other thing is that maybe we should talk with the with the people from the OFTC network because in at least in hash Debian ES channel, there there are frequently by, but but some people that are just. Uh, behave badly, and we don't have any channel operators at this moment. At oh least, okay. not active. Okay, can you repeat that, please? No, uh, the question is that uh, on Debian S on AIO OFTC, uh, well, there are channel operators, but uh, well, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most of the time, uh, we are not paying attention, so just an, invoca an invocation, and I'm also working towards that uh, because, uh, well, the, the, or the people who's already channel operators or master or whatever, uh, they don't have time to take care of the channel. And uh, well, as I told, as I told before, um, I started uh, well organizing that. And there's still a lot of uh, work to do because we are not much uh, of us, and uh, uh, well, most of them we're working or we're doing us uh, as whatever, and um, and also there's a, the time zone. I mean, I'm not paying attention to uh, to people who's talking on the uh, American time zones, so I can't do anything. <laughs> and uh, well, there there's uh, there are volunteers who will. Uh, uh, getting operator rights, uh, I hope soon, and uh, I I expect that uh, they will act in soon. But uh, the main problem on Debian S is not sorry Debian S is uh, dash Debian uh, sorry um, oh hash Debian dash es dash uh, yeah that's it uh, sorry and uh, the main problem on, on the channel is uh, is well most people is silent uh, most of the time. There's not much people, and that implies that uh, there's not much people knowing the ar the answer. So I think the channel is useful, uh, but they d it is still low. I think they d it is uh, more useful than uh, it it used to be, but it's still low. But we can compare in any way uh, with uh, that's the main that's Debian because, well, okay, we don't well have the knowledge and the people. I just want to suggest something w because, w what yeah. Certainly, certainly, yeah. I just want to say that it's really this um, um, bang ops command in, in hash Debian is really helpful because, for example, I have a second IRC client when I'm working, uh, whatever, uh, and it's just ignoring everything in hash Debian except messages to myself, which is usually when somebody invokes the ops command. And so, and then I just go on the channel and, and review and, and, and operate it, but I'm not having to follow it all the time because. If you have to follow a channel all the time, uh, so in order to step in if there's trouble, that's really difficult. But if you're able to just act on somebody saying, well, this is wrong, then you have like a shared uh, attention to it and then not all the operators have to um, think about it all the time, except if there's really trouble, if they have every anything else to do. I mean, of course, if, if they have time, it's nice if they can follow a channel, but sometimes they can't. So this um, special ops command um, is rather useful. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that also um, when we moved um, IRC Debian org to OFTC for the hash Debian channel, it has to be said that hash Debian before was very much empty as well, before IRC Debian org um, pointed to it. And there was sort of like an issue what to do about the channel operators. And we sort of said, okay, people who are operators in free nodes should also be operators in OFTC. 
but maybe also Debian should have a, I mean, I haven't addressed this at all, but like how to become a channel operator. Um, should who, who decides for like if there's some trouble on some language specific channel about uh, there are some operators who go AWOL or who go uh, thinking that they should enforce their own policies, which might not be in line with what the project wants as support if we want anything. Then who is going to arbitrate that? Is it a DPL? Is there somebody responsible for ISC um, channel operators or something? Something we have to think about maybe, and I don't really have a good answer to that, but that's also something I wanted to say. Right, so it's two o'clock. Is there any uh, pressing? Yeah, please. Uh, yes, uh, somebody mentioned to it later, the yeah. factoids. Oh, the factoids, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be very useful for people that speak other languages, people to English. Um, so any example you have, maybe you could package the, somebody could package the data. Well, I think we have to. Somebody would translate or put that in a, yeah. in a report. Or it it w yeah, I think if we do that, we have to pre-process everything. I mean, right now it's a SQL database or something. Right, so we, we can certainly get the data out, but we should present it somewhere in a way that's appropriate. As I said, maybe uh, in terms of the factor being invoked, so then we should filter out the ops factor, for example, or the DE factor, all the ch language specific stuff, but then maybe NVIDIA as a factor it would be number one, and you can translate that first, and then something like um, quote of the day 317 uh, can be left out because it's not invoked all the time. Or there's, there's like, as I said, there's like a lot of noise in it, but if we go from there and then have some translation framework maybe, and and immediate and put it back in and uh, I don't know we should that's certainly something we should think about yeah just the question is how to mm, discuss it afterwards I mean there is no real well maybe we can discuss it on Debian project maybe I should write it up after DevConf and then mail Debian project or something and invite people to or work with Don or people who are doing it to set it up and then an announce it and stuff and then maybe also. Like there were a certain, certainly a couple of really good ideas how to how to improve stuff, and um, trying to converge on something so it gets a bit better for everybody. I mean, also it could be that it's just working well and and there's no pr big problems. I mean, yeah. So is there any more questions or anything else to discuss? Any input? Nothing from ISC, I think. No, except for lunch. Okay. Well, I think that thanks everybody for participating, and yeah, we try to get just keep in touch and uh, figuring out how we can do it a bit better. Thanks a lot. <laughs>